Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only limited equipment, limited soldiers, less hit points, stronger enemies specifically via ABA and ADC and of course a lot of pretty um, hardcore missions so far. We've killed the first Chosen, excuse me, and we are still trying to recover from it. I've uh, made the decision a couple of missions ago to lock in the best equipment on the Prime Team. So that is unavailable for most of the missions and our Prime Team really just goes in whenever they are uh, needed. In the meantime, we're trying to do as good as we can with a B and C team. And today it's Operation Twisted Fog where we're trying to go through a very difficult mission. Most likely we're going to fight against the Hunter on top of it. And I just want to counter the Dark Event uh, Vigilance. We're going to do that with finally leveling Primos to the highest rank. Uh, he's the only uh, remaining um, yeah, soldier from the main team. Sandman is in, he, uh, in with us. Uh, Tepper is a new purchase. He was uh, the guy whom we bought from the Black Market. Toxic and Circum are coming back and Lockdown is coming as well. So you can see we do have a similar slate of uh, items like I said we're not having the prime items however with Rashi and the katanas finally our blades um, so the twin axes were back in business uh, which Sirkip is proudly wielding so that is pretty much what we're currently dealing with I'm still trying to build many of the additional items and as I mentioned we're focusing on the really core upgrades and once that they are done we can uh, then go to the additional uh, to the additional items we've quote unquote wasted a lot of time in this run with breakthrough research i think we had six breakthroughs uh, just to get all of the weapon categories done we have now modular breakthroughs for additional upgrades so really a lot of time has been um, spent in order to get all of the breakthroughs done but that is the nature of choose to lose right we wanted to have uh, all of that power grab at the expense of yeah now uh, sitting here with less equipment but more is to come soon let's jump uh, into the mission and eventually we're going to research all of the items sooner or later Good, we just landed and Advent let's see, we got ourselves an elite Lancer, well that's not network. a bad Our start, it while it's still connected, will six turns until the network separation, when that on the other hand is a pretty bad start. Time to move and look here. for enemies, holy shit there. That's a nasty patrol. What are we dealing with? Heavy anti-riot mag. Andromedon. And I think a purifier. I go where you tell I'm not sure why marked. ABA loves those purifiers so much. Objective in range. No, it's a lancer. Mm. Even worse. So if we were, for instance, to move only through here, they would eventually move into us and we could take a shot, right? Right. Physical exertion outpoint. Let's do this. See, Kim can move far in because he's still hidden. The elite Lancer, unfortunately, can't pretend that he is one of them, which would be hilarious if you ask me. He's just moving up to them and is like, hey guys, what's up? I heard there's a super important generator around here. Can I help you protect it? Uh, to protect it? I'm and then they you. will be like, yeah, sure. Take along. And in the right moment, you would start to backstep them. On the move. Let's just move up here. I eventually want to go uh, go in. 
And we do have Bleeding Reed, which allows the Stun Lancer to even move after he has attacked in melee, right? So that in itself is also great. Scanning protocol, just because I want to see if there are other packs um, somewhere around here. Nope. That pack seems to be a so uh, solidary one. Okay, well, if you say so, I guess one thing that we need to do is we got to shred them really well. And this year would accomplish it, but at the same time, I think what would be even better, since they are so closely standing next to one another. Now we wait. This here is double shredding. And we're also removing a bit of the wall so that we can even have better better sight okay fantastic Seventy, fifty, seventy. It's a lot of damage. Yeah, we could kill him right away. Don't want to do that yet. I think we're instead going for... That's seven to eight points of damage on that heavy mech. If I'm not mistaken. Wait a second, six, seven, two, four, six. Yep, that's a hundred percent kill. We can still re stealth. Unfortunately, we don't have Silent Killer, but I think this here is one of those missions where we need all of the DPS available. Good. Good. Starting to move up. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Holy shit. being spotted out that's fine lead lancer dies this might be a kill Like I said, we're having a bit of a problem with just too much, too much uh, hit points to chuck through. The heaviest uh, tanks are in the front line. I deliberately let the Stun Lancer sit right there so that he can take the hit. Well. 
well. This is starting to hurt. We have no place for you to go now. Fantastic, we've just been spotted out. Okay, well. Starting to hit him. Can we move afterwards? Yep. Bleeding Reed. Just needs to take the move right away. But the Andromedon still deals a lot of, comparably speaking, a lot of damage. And unfortunately, if we're moving, we are going to take Acid Burn. We did have a medkit here, but we have no action left over this turn. That's unfortunate. Still starting to move up. Sandman unfortunately can't really move very well. I'm on the move. And we're buying some time. Well done. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. I won't let them pass. Got it come. Good, we're down to five turns. Unfortunately, the asset might stay there for a turn or two. Good. Stun Lancer moves up and is our new scout. Right, so at the moment we would not have the best uh, chance to hit this guy. However, this here would very much flank him. Yep, 100% chance. Overdriving. Andromedons are a pain in the neck. That's oh, one down. Reloaded, uh, free reloading and that almost kills him nicely shredded I go where I am needed good as always we got to deal with a shell now. But we could haywire protocol it and make sure that uh, we can deal with it next turn. 97% is good. Fantastic. Good. It won't bother us for two more turns, so for the next turn that is. If it says two turns, it really means one turn. Uh, I guess it'll be okay. Because our turn is one turn and their turn is also one turn. Marking the Spectre. Shot wide. 
even a missed shot is not too bad. Probably moving up. But this here is in range for the Spectre, which will be our next target. 70% is still good. And this could be a kill. Unfortunately not. Didn't want to charge in. Because, yeah. Whoa. What the actual hell. That must be the prime. You cannot run. I might need some help. Help! Help! I might help! We have to expect our <laughs> soldiers to feel the strain of combat eventually. Unfortunately, we just have to give them enough time to recover properly. Not sure if uh, he's vulnerable against um, against melee attacks. Three more turns. I like the high ground. We're going to ignore the pesky sector for now. This here hopefully is going to deal with the Spectre. Wonderful. Will the death of this one change? Need to reload. Unfortunately, it does not remove the, the fear. That is very unfortunate. Okay, can't deal with those guys. Cover removal. Teamwork. Ah, shouldn't have given him teamwork right away. That was stupid. Should have first acted, then given him teamwork. I figured he was already he had already taken a turn. My bad. That was a mistake. I uh, misremembered it and thought those two were. Um, those two were uh, the, uh, the respective other one. Okay, so what are we going to do? We could... The boas are, I think, at least they sound like they would try to grab us. Without cover removal, this is going to look pretty bad. Plus, they do have quite a bit of armor. So let's start with that. We do have shredding here. Whom can we hit and shred? This boar here might be a good starter. Very nice. That's okay. I think we had Salvo. Yeah, but just not on this guy. Hmm. And that's not a great chance either. I want to make sure that we're really having a good chance of actually killing the, those guys. 
My biggest problem is the Andromedon is still alive, well and alive. And that means we're going to take a hit. Unless we're finding a way to deal with it before him. This guy is in excellent position. Overall, the enemy has a better position than we do. We try to burst down the Sector Commander, but, uh, Sector Prime, but well, it's highly unlikely to work. We lost our high ground here. Would be nice to have a grappling hook, which we currently don't. I don't see any option or reason why there would be losses in here. If we had a flashbang and we were to hit those guys, we would at least hit two of them, right? Right. Not the worst idea. Bit of a bit of damage control could help us. This here would be suicidal because we gotta deal with the Andromedon as well. The other option is an incendiary grenade. Is that going to hit more than one? I mean, we could hit those guy, all of those guys over there. Eventually. Okay, I'll go. Andromedon can move over to us, which is a problem. But we could move all the way over here. That would at least secure us from the Andromedon. Problem is, I I misused uh, the the teamwork. That could I'm you here. start haunting us a bit further down the road. So, Sidery Grenade would call uh, would buy us an extra turn, and this here is going to hit two. Grenade! Not a bad idea. Let's see what the sector is going to do. Thirty-three percent. I think we're going to give it a try. The prime dies. At least we don't have. Oh. No, we're we're going to stay right there. Still deal with the Andromedon. 48%. It's not reacting if we're not hitting. The other option is a kill zone. That really going to matter a lot they are potentially going to focus on uh, the mech this guy is going to focus on the um, on the sun lance and that's exactly what they should do i'm willing to sacrifice him Can't kill the shell, and the shell is still a problem. 50 50 for the sector is the best we can do. 36 to kill him. I mean, we don't want it to get a lot of actions, right? If we're missing, bad luck. If we're hitting, he dies. Let's try that.
like I said, not the end of uh, the world. Flashbang could be an option just to reduce their capabilities. Can we hit two or more? Wait, 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 yep. Okay, that's good. Two disorientations. That's okay, because this guy here will not have any mean anything meaningful to do. Sector is burning. Four moves up. And double moves. And single move and double move. And there is the bind we were waiting for. Oh, what? Five points of damage. Holy shit. Okay. Eight to ten points of damage. Let's kill a sector. It. Lancer, scuttle lance, and are you kidding? What? How? How far can he? No, that is not happening. This Lancer... Okay, wait a sec. Something is wrong. This cannot be right. Look at how far these guys can go after Bleeding Reed. That cannot... That cannot... That simply cannot be correct. Good, gotta move up. Throwing the axe. Missing horribly. Free conceal. Or some extra hit and hopefully kill. Well, we're being revealed. So, if we were to hit... Gotta move away from that Andromedon shell. It's a little bit like moving, 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 just so that the shell does not hit us. And now we're removing the wall. I gotta admit, this is enjoyable. I don't know if it is the addition to Force of Strength, uh, um, where Advent is it's just having higher numbers at this point, or if it is ABA. I, I don't know, but 
Those guys are starting to annoy us quite a bit. We have no free reload, right? No, we don't. Let the hunt begin. I must reload. Good. Two actions. Let's try to kill that boa here. Solid hit. Okay. Well. It's a hundred percent chance to hit it for enough damage, so no need to waste combat protocol. Nailed him. Got him placeable. And now. we're running low on the network separation. Extra move available and we have plenty of hit points. Might as well position ourselves here. What is going on? So he grabbed him and Bladestorm went off, but unfortunately he still managed to grapple. And we're continuing to just take nice little damage. gotta kill the boa but at the same time also that Andromedon it feels good to move around. moving up let's first of all start with the boa Siakim cannot move without starting to acid burn. We're going to see if that's going to be a problem. Dark event could let us move pretty far. Continuing to hit the uh, the suit, and although we're critting, this guy just does not seem to go down. Order confirmed. Moving out. Trying to get the shell down. Placeable to reposition ourselves. I successfully removed all of the cover, and we got a problem with Zirkin. Can't let him stand in the open as well. I will go. The time for hiding is over. 
Good. I gotta work on the network separation. And I need to find a decent solution for Zirkin. We could move into cover and then heal ourselves, which should prevent us from taking the asset damage to begin with. Alright, not fantastic, but still okay. Got that stasis. We got enough time to still work with the network separation. This would be a fantastic kill. Yep, wonderful. Very good, look at that. Uh, yeah, yeah, good. We were taking some feedback, but oh, that's great. Not getting anywhere. This is bad. Good. We're taking we're implacable, and we forward. will take some more damage afterwards. These hands were a bit clumsy. What's over there? Not a problem. Moving up. And we can't even shoot something from here. That is unfortunate. Good. I'm trying to go for more uh, time. Essentially buying us some of those crucial rounds. Next round we also got overdrive, so we should be fine. For now it's overwatch and I think Sandman can start to look whether there is someone in there. Just when you think you've seen it all, right? Just when you think you've seen it all. Okay, so... Let's mark that poten uh, potential specter. We are currently okay on the timer here. What I would want to do though is fight them in this larger room. Which means we're eventually going to close the door. Once we're done harassing them, of course. High ground here would be fantastic. Don't want to cluster up too much. We 
because Gateway could hit all of us. And I want to make sure that that's not happening. Okay, so far is so good. We have enough time units. Confirm. Let's buy one more turn. Because the shotgun on this distance is not super effective, might as well just use it. Fifty fifty combat protocol won't deal four points of damage. If we hit, it's uh, dealing, it's shredding. Now, I think I want to shred it. We can still use our explosion next round. Or, wait a second, we could overdrive now. There's no reason not to. And basically get two actions of number one, shredding. Okay, that worked well. 50-50. Okay, we're continuing to shred. We can still hit. Not good. Got it covered. No, we're not reloading. Come on. We are hitting that specter. There we go. And what I want to do is I want to motivate them to essentially move all the way back there whilst as you order commander you can never escape my side. essentially closing the store and we're going into a safe high ground Where we're not accidentally being hit. Good. So the eyeball definitely hates being in a situation where it is shredded and so on and so forth. No surprise that it um, was just running into our direction. Next round, it will use gateway though. And this guy, wow, okay. Something is coded awkwardly off with the bleeding reed. I mean, he's running around the entire map, right? Okay, for now I'll just assume he will not make it. By the way, good job I accurately running through acid. There wasn't there wasn't so much acid around, so he had to try quite hard in order to find a place.
can't really get into a high ground where I could hit this guy. That's oh, depressing. So I think what we will do is... Move up, not too close, enough space, and continue to fret. It's unfortunately a fail. Good, this hopefully is going to mark him. Another missed shot. Can't hit this guy if he's not shredded. So what are our options? I am on the move. Six to seven. Nine to ten. Are we really going to get him down? That's a good question. So we only have four more hit points on our Reaper. On the other hand, we need to shred him in order to meaning uh, to do to deal meaningful damage, right? 50-50 chance to be revealed is the problem. Hmm. If we're getting revealed, he's going to use Gateway. And that'll eventually kill us. I unfortunately can't let that happen. Nope, the chance... I, I don't want to lose the Reaper over such a mission. Gateway would not kill the others. Trying to hit it and trying to hit it well. Hit the plate. Still a lot of armor. could move up here that should be fine gateway will not hit up and down i was hoping for a bit more room Ever vigilant, but not guardian, so not multiple shots. So it's not an option. Yeah, we're using the other combat protocol: secure damage, ignores the armor, and eventually deals some damage. There's the gateway. Oh, do not tell me that. Oh, Shadowbound. Okay, we gotta deal with that, but we gotta deal with the gatekeeper first. This here is bad, but the gatekeeper is worse. Oh, 
Okay, so what are we going to do? Gatekeeper. It's nicely inside. This could be a kill. It's one hit. Come on. There we go. Two more turns. So next up we gotta deal with that guy over there. Elite Lancer is an option. I do have another idea. Reloading is free action. more turns right yes okay moving over here so that we're not directly in line of sight i don't want to deal with those guys and seven to eight plus this is going to remove cover okay fantastic that's a good start now Zirkim now can drop down from this side. And that finally gives us some more agency. Two turns. Make it three. Slowly but surely running out of options here. Let's trigger Overwatch and we're going down. Okay. There's a closed door, which we just need to open somehow. The target is marked. Strange, we sort of can't go in there. If you say so. But we're still okay on the timer. Spectre needs to die. And there we go, fantastic. Almost everyone to a certain degree is now low on hit points. Moving as ordered. What? No place for you to go now. I should probably move or fight or something. All right, we're being heavily, heavily under fire. Two turns. Ah, the open spaces, the fresh air. Gotta shred this guy. Their inferior designs Thank you for over. that channel shot. Next turn is the last turn. Gotta make it count. This hopefully will kill. Yep, the shield bearer, and we're almost done. What a hardcore battlefield! Like. Picking up any other everything here charges deployed. everything here seems 
covering ground. completely destroyed or nigh completely destroyed. I mean, look at that. The entirety of the map is just blown away. Ready to rock. Come get some. That's what I call a very difficult and close mission, I think. Nearly everyone uh, got injured. Lost our stun lancer, five people got injured. And we had really, really hardcore packs to deal with. So ABA starts to deliver on the later parts. As long as there's even one Reaper left standing. Gravely wounded, gravely wounded, gravely wounded, gravely wounded, wounded, and Bradley's the only one who hasn't taken damage. Alarium core and a bunch of corpses. Hello, Commander. Well, that was worth it. Let's make sure we're taking advanced explosives. Commander, I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. Fear of panic. Phobophobia. Fans to panic when someone else panics. Nice. That is such an XCOM thing. Phobophobia. Okay, I definitely want additional Alarium and Crystals. That's exactly what we need with the 800 income on top. We will be ready <clears throat> to upgrade the armor. I suppose that's one way to approach a problem you can't solve. Just, build a machine just double checking Jessica Rabbit three more days and then we can remove her phobia condition and eventually get her onto a covert ops promotion mission there were some casualties during that last covert action Fantastic. But our troops will all recover after some well earned rest. We picked up some new information on the chosen. New faction order granted. Experimental ammunition projects are now completed reaper. instantly. So that well. is important Sounds because like we're doing that quite a bit. Our influence with the resistance factions has motivated them to No appropriate reaper at the moment available, the and we don't want anyone captured. That's a good one. For a bit later. Hmm, that's not bad either. Plus one health is okay. You know, I mean, maybe we're going to do this one here. Problem is we can't counter the capture. So we're just putting soldiers on uh, on this mission that are highly expandable and that way uh, since there's really nothing that gives us a, a huge benefit at this point wait a second yeah breakthrough research doesn't no there is nothing that gives us a huge benefit might as well just go with the low level guys and maybe someone gets captured. It is what it is. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. Jessica will take a couple of days and then she'll be uh, she'll be back. And funnily enough, in ten days she also will be back from her training. So once that is happening and done. Uh, the covert action will be done and hopefully in the next iteration we have a promotion um, so that she can get that last level promotion. So many have suffered for your efforts, even those you would consider innocent. Okay, finally. Breakthrough Commander. out of the way. These chosen are we don't need psionics. We're going with the Berserker Queen next and... 
You'll need to pay close attention to each one if they gain Then it's Archon out of C next. This will prove to have been an important breakthrough. The most The aliens have considerable resources at their disposal, but we've still managed Good. We're slowly but surely clawing, through, clawing our Putting way there. Now. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past. Good new strengths. This chosen has a significant bonus to dodge. Ah, stinks because he will dodge a lot. I was good before, but this is something else entirely. And he will. He's now training, um, and the hunter will eventually try to to invade us soon so we got to be careful there more explosives that's fine if we can cancel that's good this is irrelevant and the hidden event i don't know we were trying to get that one but if we can cancel collateral damage that would be great soon a retaliation strike will happen so got to be careful with that one experimental ammunition is done immediately Yeah, I think that's good. You're the boss. And 700. Okay, perfect. Strategic resource located. Good. Now, here here is where we're getting all of our upgrades. What can I do for you, commander? Build items, armor upgrade. This is our basic power armor frame. Fantastic. We're going to take a lot of shots. We're also upgrading the Serpent Suit. And in terms of weapons, Beam Pistols would be helpful. The Iconic Axe would be helpful. The Ripjack would be helpful. Question is, we're soon going to do the Archon Autopsy and then we can actually just skip this level and go to the highest level. Beam pistols, on the other hand, are the highest level. So let's get those guys first. And the melee weapons will we'll just skip the, the melee weapons. Okay. So two more days until Berserker Queen autopsy and since I think we have a lot of intel before we're continuing to build our radio relay here, let's visit the black market, Avenger hopefully buy report. some stuff and use some of the intel. Market is open. Ooh, Colonel Grenadier. Uh, for a hundred intel, almost inclined to take that. Superior perception, that's 145 intel. Those two together look like a really good deal to me. Grenadier, and we're immediately giving him superior perception. Let's do that. The reason why I'm taking these guys is we're getting a lot of intel. And to be entirely honest, I am expecting that with the loosey-goosey equipment uh, that we're now doing, that we're going to lose uh, soldiers sooner or la later. All right, blast padding, suppression, all the targeting is what we took, volatile mix, hail of bullets, and I think rupture. Yep, that was the skill. Fourteen aim, that brings him up to ninety, which is good. Advanced expanded magazine and the stock, good enough. So yeah, he can 
he can certainly stand uh, stand his own. I am expecting that we're going to lose a couple of soldiers, and I just want to already fill up the ranks so that we're that we're good to go. Do we have anything that we can sell so that we can get GTS upgrades? Aiden Alois, no chrysalid corpse, nah. We will need the spectre corpses later. But with 200 we can get one upgrade. And what are we going to take? Explosives can do critical damage, would be great. Ten percent flat critical damage on snipers is good as well. But I think we're going to do, uh, go with the critical damage on explosives. Good. So we are out of intel, which is good because that means the game will more likely give us intel. As well as Alois and Delerium, because we're out of those as well. Next, next up is potentially a retaliation mission, anyway. So another important step forward in our research. As that's Dr. fine. Noted in her own report, it was Got the rage suit. Borderline irrational for her to have pursued this and research. Knowing the let's do the Archon autopsy, not just to herself, which afterwards would be plus Malance. The, the product. Commander. Okay, proving grounds rage suit. Damn, that's another core. <clears throat> okay, we're going to get that eventually. Blue screen protocol is needed as well. And I think we also wanted to build a couple of wrath and wrath suits and some flamethrowers. So Plenty of, plenty of um, um, cores are needed. Good. Look at that. EMP bomb. We, uh, I think we're not allowed to get that one yet because we don't have blue screen protocol, but Commander. we would be building an EMP bomb if we had the ability to do that instead of an EMP grenade. Very good. Yeah, we, we will but need to hunt the hunter soon. coming through clear our friends in the resistance are paying a heavy price with the chosen running loose we should do what we can to take them down before they hit again good can't really build anything or matter of fact do anything at this point so we're just Avengers going to scan for it a bit of intel there's not even something on the stra strategy layer at this point Fantastic. Slowly, but Hidden reserves too. Oh, that's not bad. Grows, With our success, if we were to need uh, any energy, but we don't commander. need that. Our influence with the resistance so captured high. Them to share some new information on the chosen. Oh, I don't want to be captured. Specifically not with a major. Good, we got Dutch plus five here. That's not fantastic. Dutch plus ten, that is really good. Just need, well, we don't need Alarium. We can simply do that. It's potentially the mission that we're going to do. There's the promotion I was talking about. 
and see we are no longer getting captured here so those are easy to do missions for us increase regional income ability points both and the dodge plus they are faster because it's easier for us to do that another dodge plus nine mission and we can prevent the capture so might as well go for part three Ooh, this one here is fantastic soldier cohesion will meet next level only six days I mentioned how I want Jessica and Frodo to eventually take that good so this here is great this here is great as well for 12 days dodge plus 10 how many days do we have left over before the month ends only 15 which means if we take a promotion which this one here is the faster one that's six days And this here is 14. That's another six days plus the soldier bond. Which for me would be pretty important to, to get that one as well. Hmm. Let's think that through. Dodge plus 10 is pretty invaluable for six days specifically. Another dodge plus 10 and a promotion in also six days. Might as well take six days here soldier captured I ah, know this year as a soldier captured oh we're certainly not going to do that this year is 14 days so that's too long I think we should start with a promotion and then eventually get uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, the CIS soldier captured mm. that is unfortunate okay so plan is we're going to start with the promotion in six days and then get the dodge plus 10 for 12 days alarm crystals just for negation in 15 days right until 15 days okay well since Jessica is not available unless I interrupt her uh, negative trait thing I would much rather like to put quick feet in here yeah we only have now we only have two missions for dodge plus 10 and one is too risky I, I'm not going to risk a high level soldier Good. A soldier could potentially be wounded, but that's fine. We're going to get 10 dodge in 12 days. Not the end of the world. I was hoping we, we could get the faster mission, but at least nothing is happening. And then afterwards, we're going to increase income with a promotion. We will work hand in hand and we'll, uh, um, we'll finally get the colonel rank on Jessica Jones. And there is the retaliation side that we have been talking about. So, Chrysalid Hunter, Gatekeeper, Assault, Purifier, Guardian, Priest, Advent Mech. That's oh, pretty straightforward. Operation Swamp Child. Overall, one more day until the Archon Arpsy. 
and that would even give us upgraded weapons so in terms of loadout we get that power armor look at the 20 hit points that is great love it 20 hit points three armor for frodo so he is tanky it's exactly what i wanted wards has 16 hit points two armor Reckoner 20 hit points, one armor, potentially a, uh, with a stasis vest even a little bit more hit points, so that might be misleading. Maybe we'll give him, maybe we'll give him the plated vest. The plated vest alone is two armor because we have that, upgra uh, that upgrade for, for vests. So that, that would be good. We might want to get more plated vests, like two armor, two, two armor, three hit points is a, I oh know I can't take duplicate items. <laughs> okay, well, still three armor on the skirmisher would be good. And Jessica has 17 health and at least 40 dodge, which isn't too bad either. Got to work on her aim a little bit more. So maybe if we find plus aim missions, we could pump that into her so that she's not missing with, uh, with her sniper. As soon as she has the dark lance, we essentially do not want to let her miss. We could exchange the superior conditioning for superior um, superior scope but that would only be 15 more aim I still think that that's not a good trade going down into 14 hit points is level range so I much rather stay where we are with a 17 hit points and continue with AP rounds that's the right play okay good guys it's getting late here I hope you still enjoyed uh, the uh, mission that was a lot of fun we definitely had one of the best fights that i had in a long time thanks for watching if you enjoy a better advent and just the uh, the uh, the pot constellations that it creates please leave a comment and a like down below and uh, tell me if uh, you are considering to go for that mod as well i'd be interested to hear your opinion about it thanks and have a good one bye bye